Today, I'm standing outside a 13.5 million rand, four bed, six bathroom, three garages, absolute feast for your eyes right here in Cinderwood, Bedford View. The interiors designed by Stefan Rich and George de Haast. Come with me as I take you through this avant-garde masterpiece. My name is Chad Viveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. Coming through these glass double doors, we find ourselves in an entrance hall that doubles as a dining room area and it is in a spectacular place to be. Above me, a skylight and then draping down from that skylight, you find this avant-garde chandelier that is such a statement piece coming through those glass doors. Surrounding it on the upper level is a glass enclosed walkway that we're going to show you a little bit later, but take a look at this dining room table. It must be one of the biggest dining room tables we featured on the show, 14-seater. 16 at a pinch if we take these chairs on either side as double chairs, but it is absolutely massive, really cool statement piece. And then I'm sure you guys have noticed, ho ho ho, Merry Christmas. We've got a huge Christmas tree just to my left, so you guys know that most of this house is not only going to be decked out incredibly in terms of interior design, but we're going to have those added touches of that Christmas feel. Now coming off into this spectacular kitchen, center island right here and another absolutely incredibly large center island. Iceberg marble is what this island's made out of. Again, we've got these arty chandeliers or drop-down lights hanging from the bolt head ceiling. This center island is slightly different from ones we've seen before. You've got your stovetop integrated in it, industrial extractor just above, and then right over here, chef sink integrated in your center island. What center island is complete without a chef sink? More of that, you'll find the design element of windows reflected on the other side of the kitchen, both above and below, all the storage spaces. You can see how much storage space there is. I I love how bright this kitchen is. I love how much natural light it is. Then in kitchens, we've got to talk appliances. We've got two ovens, one of them being a steam oven. We've got an integrated coffee machine. Like I said, the sink over here and another really cool gadget we've only seen a couple of times is this water dispenser right here. Instant boiling or chilled water. So all you water fans, all you tea fans, you know, you're taken care of with that. But take a look at all of the storage space and then framed behind it with that glass window letting in all that light and also giving you a view of the stunning greenery in the wraparound garden. Coming into the back of the kitchen, you find yourself in the scullery area. This is where all the business happens. You've got under counter storage for all your appliances, both on my right as well as on my left hand side. We've got again, continuation of that marble countertop and a double sink this time, adjustable faucet. Let me not bang that about too hard. And then over here, your pantry area that's framed with this frosted glass, allowing you to close it off if you shift all these panels, giving you a nice clean look, but also being a very functional space. And this house has got a lot of functional spaces. Then behind this door, you'll find your servants' quarters, a beautifully equipped bathroom, and then down this flight of stairs is your garage area. We'll show you in some cutaways here right now. Three car garage, plenty of space. Some of that space is being currently utilized as a gym area. So it is nice to know that if you're into your fitness, that's taken care of with all that garage space. Now this home being located in Bedford View has easy access to some of the most upmarket schools in Gauteng. You've got Seheti, St. Andrews, as well as King David, just around the corner. But here we are, your first, I'd say, formal sitting room area. And it has to be formal for one reason and one reason only. Is take a look at this fantastic grand piano right here in the corner. Behind it, it's framed by that beautiful window again, looking out into the garden. But 
this is really where those design elements come into play so beautifully. You can see this home is being designed and the interior has really been kept front of mind when doing all of this. We've got this inbuilt wall unit right here with all of the back lighting through the different squares and panels. It looks stunning, beautiful cream, matches the area rug. Above us, you'll see intermittently not only air conditioning but also a surround sound system that's controlled from a central panel so you've got music no matter where you go and one place you're going to need music is your bar area what a cool space i love that it's indoor and outdoor again you've got that beautiful white scissor stone countertops again another chef sink right over here stunning faucets on display i think every single fitment you'll see throughout the house really is top notch all along this area are your fridges as well as your ice maker and then on this side again another really really arty wall unit place for you to store all your wine and then this massive LCD television right there in the center so if you're watching sports enjoying a drink this is exactly where you're going to want to do it again dotted in different areas you're going to find your speaker system and then this area right here you've got those stackable frosted and insulated windows and doors that fold all the way up and enclose you from that outdoor space. Now coming out from the bar before I leave it one last thing I need to mention is that this whole strip of bar is illuminated. You can't really see it right now with the lighting but it's got lights in it. Really cool, really fun little area to relax in. And then we come to this spot right here and what could I call this? this? This is the lounging area, the relaxing area, the sociable area. The reason being is it's stuck between the bar and that area right there that we're gonna to get to in a moment, but plenty of space above us, four speaker systems dotting the ceiling, and this bulkhead ceiling has illumination lining it all the way around, so it catches your eye, regardless of where you might be entering this home from, or this area from. Love how large it is, love how much space there is. Two air conditioning units just in front of these frameless glass doors that come all the way over and turn your garden into a work of art when closed, but when opened, I mean, guys, how stunning is that, oh, I'd have to say that massive feature wall just on the other side of the pool. It's incredible. We're going to get to that in a moment, but what I really like about this area is right here. Behind these sliding walnut panels, or might be cedar wood panels, beautiful panels, we'll show you an insert of what it looks like when this area is all closed up. But behind them is what you see right now. We've got a gas bry, a teppanyaki area, but the gas bry can also be turned into a charcoal bry. And on the inside of here is another set of industrial extractor fans. So you can bry with this all closed or you can open it up and really turn this into an entertainer's dream, specifically with the music dotted up. But when it's not in use, you never need to worry about it subtracting from just how incredible this interior is because we'll close this all up and you'll see what it'll look like. Nice and clean shots underneath two warming drawers. You never need to worry about when you're going to eat because this house has got you covered. So right now where I'm standing is the pergola area but let's talk about this wall one last time. We've got this beautiful rusted metal that gives such a tactile feel and then it's broken up with where the succulents are recessed into this wall. The green, the brown looks absolutely incredible. And now with these frameless glass doors that separate your house from your outdoor area, it really does turn this into an absolute work of art. As soon as I walked into this home and I saw that my eyes were immediately drawn to the outdoor area. So I love what they've done there. We've got more greenery in this whole section over there, including over there, shade netting, stunning chandeliers, plenty of space here. You can see this outdoor dining room table fits easily. And right over here, we've got some lava rocks that makes up our first outdoor fireplace. And one of the four fireplaces you'll find within this home, we'll show you the rest as we continue journeying around it. But I love the wood. I love the fact that you've got a place to sit here and enjoy your outdoor area in the shade, but on a cold winter night, you can put that on, get nice and warm, feel nice and cozy and enjoy an outdoor dinner. Right over here, we've got the first bathroom and the first guest bathroom we're gonna be showing you. So let me take a look inside. You guys can come with me, let's talk about it. Your guest bathroom comes with some cupboard space. You've got a single vanity, freestanding basin, under counter storage, and then your hidden system toilet tucked away right next to that. Then coming out of your bathroom, turning right, you'll find yourself in a lush garden area on wood decking and right in front of you will be an outdoor shower for you to enjoy not only outside but also in privacy which I think is very very important. Beautiful shower head just above it, rainfall shower head so you can wash off just after enjoying the heated pool. Now heading back inside we've got a couple of things to touch off on the ground floor level before we move upstairs and take a look at the bedrooms. The first is this 
informal lounge area. This is probably where you're gonna be spending most of your time watching TV again. We've got a feature wall that not only goes up behind me, but across the whole ceiling again, bulkhead ceiling with recessed light. And we've got windows both there and behind me letting in some natural light. And you can put your couch, L-shaped couch in the corner, making it feel really cozy, making you feel tucked away from the rest of the home and being able to enjoy yourself while enjoying a movie. But we mentioned fireplaces and again, you've got another gas fireplace right here in the corner, making up the second of the four fireplaces within this home. Now, once we've talked about the TV room, the other thing we need to mention is we've got a huge storage closet just here on my left. Beautiful marble stairs heading all the way upstairs. And we're gonna go there in a moment. But behind me, another guest bathroom. Let's take a look at it. Coming into your guest bathroom, you're greeted by a one-of-the-kind vanity area. You've got wood backing with recessed mirror just behind it and a tap that doesn't start from the basin, but in fact from the ceiling itself coming all the way down as one long chrome pole and then that water falls from it into that cool looking basin. You've got stunning wallpaper all the way around and then in the one corner again another toilet, hidden cistern and then plenty of windows letting in lots of natural light but all of them being frosted. Coming out of the toilet on your right hand side, you'll find an office space. This office space is framed on one wall with windows letting in natural light and then it has shelving as well as cupboards built in above. You've got another one of those unique chandeliers. You've also got plenty of down lights and aircon to keep you cool while you're doing all of that important work. Then talking about lighting, each and every one of these marble steps are individually lit. On the left hand side of the steps acting as a balustrade is a frameless piece of glass running all the way up. Love how that's been developed and implemented in this home. But another thing that you have to mention is this right here, floor to ceiling window space. And just behind it, you've got all that greenery acting again as an art piece. But let's journey on up. And here we are on the top level. Now coming through this entryway right over here, you'll notice the recess. And that makes way for the security system, drops down, completely sealing you off from the downstairs area. But again, we're in an incredibly secure area with not only beams, security and alarm system, but also with guards at the front gate. So you know you're never really gonna need to worry about security. But how cool is this upstairs area? Instead of balustrades or railings, we've got floor to ceiling drop down glass, except if you possibly drop a phone, it's gonna drop a floor all the way down because there are gaps, but I love the design element. I love how open this looks. But let's start right over here, first bedroom, and we're gonna journey all the way around until we find ourselves right over there on the other side in the creme de la creme, the master suite. Let's take a look. And here we are within the first bedroom and the smallest of the four we're gonna find upstairs, but it is still quite a large and spacious bedroom. On this side is all your cupboard space, beautiful white mixed with the wood elements below. It's kind of a common theme for design in this home. Above us, air con positioned just above the bed. Plenty of space here for bed as well as whatever else you would like to mix into this room. Windows right over there are not only tinted, but also insulated, so you know you're getting privacy, but still just the right amount of light. And then an ensuite bathroom leading off right here. Stunning Victorian Albert bathtub. All the bathtubs throughout the home, Victorian Albert. Over here, we've got your floating vanity, standalone sink, beautiful taps, mirrors right around. Take a look at this, how the glass has been angled on each side, giving you, like just making this place feel cooler, making it feel unique. We've got a toilet tucked away, hidden cistern, soft close seats, and then rainfall shower head right over here. Beautiful tiling right around that makes up this ensuite bathroom. But this is only one or four. Let's take a look at the rest. And next up isn't even a bedroom. This is your indoor cinema area. And here is your indoor cinema room just off the staircase, pitch black all the way around, blackout curtains, 4K Epson projector just above me. And in front of me, you've got your massive TV screen. You've got couches all the way around for you to sit down, kick back, relax, oh, throw a drink in and just enjoy yourself while you watch some, uh, some movies on the big screen. Behind me, you've got a superhero center right there so you can put some design elements and then all the way around, surround sound. Really must be a nice place to kick back and enjoy some movies. But we've got a lot more to explore. So let's leave the cinema room and let's take a look at the next bedroom located just around the corner. 
And here you are within the second bedroom of this incredible home. And the first thing you'll notice is how the design element has completely shifted from what we've seen before. Yeah, plenty of wood, plenty of mirror. We've got this divider over here that turns one side of the room into a bedroom and the other side into a study area. Beautiful glossy white countertops, mirrors lining each and every one of the cupboards. And this does form part of what I'd have to say your walk-in closet above us, bulkhead ceiling, beautiful drop-down lights, air conditioning, and then right over here is your bedroom. TV send mounted front and center, so you know all your connection points are just behind that. Windows on both sides, again, tinted and frosted, and space for this absolutely gigantic bed right here. Love how this room's been designed, but what makes it really cool is not just this hanging chair, and definitely not just the fact that half the wall is frosted glass that would separate your ensuite bathroom to the rest of the bedroom. What makes it so cool is just how bright, airy, and functional this bedroom is. Right behind me is your walk-in bathroom. We've got a huge mirror taking up the majority of the space, under counter storage, floating basin, beautiful faucets, Victorian Albert floating bathtub right here in the corner with these windows over here letting you enjoy the outside air and the outside light. But recessed into the wall on the left-hand side is another one of those rainfall showers. Glass door opens up for you to step in and enjoy probably one of the best showers of your life. But that sums up the second bedroom. So let's head on out. Let's go across the walkway and take a look at the third. So coming out of this bedroom, we go along this beautiful pathway. Now, here we are within the third bedroom of the four located upstairs just before the creme de la creme. The first thing we need to talk about is two frosted sliding doors separating your walk-in closet area from the rest of the bedroom. We've got a beautiful drop-down chandelier over there. Again, aircon just above the bedroom. Plenty of space here for beds of all sizes. We've got a TV mounted on the wall, so you know just behind the TV, it's all the plug points you'd need to do the same should you be purchasing this home. And then right here in the corner, perfect study area slash work area for guests that are maybe out of town or for one of your children, you know that they can do all their homework right over here, beautifully included. And then, guys, what a walk-in bathroom this is. All the bathrooms are en suite upstairs. So let's start right here again. We've got that Victorian Albert bathtub, freestanding, and then this stunning set of taps right over here. The water runs out open, drops into the bathroom, really making bathing in this home an experience. We've got windows there and there looking down this time onto your garden area that wraps around. And over here, another one of those really unique basin areas slash vanity, mirror above it, vanity just below and then under counter storage right over there. Over here we've got a full-on shower section enclosed on all sides with glass, rainfall shower head situated right above you. That concludes this bedroom which leaves us one last place to go and see and that is the creme de la creme, the master suite. So let's continue across this stunning walkway. Really like the art, got to give that a shout out. And just behind me right over here is the master suite. Let's head on in. And here it is coming along this long hallway, really building up the anticipation. You've got plenty of windows in this room, letting in so much natural light. Not only windows in the corner over there, but also windows over there. Huge bed right in the middle. And again, talking about featured walls, the feature wall extends from the headboard all the way up onto the ceiling, making this feel like a very special place to be. And trust me, it is a very, very special place to be. This whole corner area right over here, built in desk. So if you are getting ready, or doing some work or even just need a place to store something you've got that right over there aircon above it and as i mentioned plenty of window area right here letting in that natural light in front of the bed you've got your tv section floating coming up from the floor so if you'd like to watch tv in bed you know that's sorted but what makes us so special is maybe you want to watch tv while you're in the bath so you'll swivel this right around and now come with me as we take a look at this and yeah, you find yourself in your walk-in closet slash bathroom area for closet space lining both sides of the wall. Again, that white and the wood runners really do look incredible. Above me, bulkhead ceiling, another aircon right there. And that bulkhead ceiling basically frames this bathtub right here, taking up center stage, really becoming an art piece. You've got your faucet over here. Again, those cool, funky faucets that we've seen throughout the house, spilling water while you relax and enjoy yourself in this bathtub. But let me come over to this side because right here, you've got countertop area, plenty of under counter storage, and again, different drawers built into the countertop over here. Talk about 
a rainfall shower, massive shower, plenty of glass across both sides, rainfall shower head, and then these mirrored inserts throughout the black tiling, really, really looks nice. Love how it's been done. On my right hand side, toilet area, again, recessed, hidden system, and nothing even slams, look at that. And then bidet built in, windows on both sides, again, tinted, as well as insulated. And then on this side, can't forget about your vanity, double vanity, plenty of under counter storage again, and it's hidden under counter storage, keeping a nice clean look here, and then mirrors running the whole length. I do believe the mirrors open as well, so you can open that up, and that can be your medicine cabinet. But guys, that does conclude this incredible home, easily the best design home we've ever filmed on the Home Shopper Show. So join me outside, let's go into the garden once again, let's talk about how you can become the next owner of this home and what you need to do to do that. And here we are back outside this 13 and a half million rand home right here in Bedford View. Four bedrooms, six bathrooms and three garages make up only a portion of how much this home has to offer. Those interiors are second to none. So if you'd like to be the next owner of this home, what I'd like you to do is contact the agent from Grounded Property Professionals. All of the details are on screen right now as well as in the description of this video and call to book a viewing today. But from myself, Chad Viveros, from the team at Private Property, as well as the team at The Home Shopper Show, thank you once again for tuning in on an episode of The Home Shopper Show. Remember, we air Mondays and Fridays at 8 p.m. and we bring you the coolest, the most expensive, the nicest homes in South Africa. And don't forget, if you're looking for a home, be it one this incredible or anywhere in between, go to www.privateproperty.co.za. We are South Africa's leading property portal and we have every single listing from every single agent across the country in one easy to search and easy to find place. We'll see you there and we'll also see you next time on the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Thank you once again and goodbye.